Hey Virgos, welcome to your love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Virgos, and their cross watchers are welcome as well. These messages won't resonate with everybody, so please take what's yours, leave what don't. Uh, roles can be vice versa. So if it fits, but it's the other way around, just apply it the way it applies to your life. All right. Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love. Let's see what you guys got. Your main uh, focus of your reading. Or the situation at hand. Let's see what we got. Virgo. All right. Your situation we're dealing with is the Five of Swords. And it is clarified with justice. So some of you are needing to, uh, for the sake of your own energy, cut ties with somebody, walk away from a situation that is not, um, that is not bringing happiness. Um, for some of you, you could need to get a divorce and you know it, but you're not walking away just yet. You're holding on to something for some reason or another. So let's see what, what we got going on. All right, first card out for your energy is a three of swords in reverse. So you were um, heartbroken over the situation at one point in time, but it's like you've been here so long that now it's just like everyday, whoa, it's like everyday occurrence. Um, it's like you've gotten used to being treated like this or, um, you know, you've got used, oh my goodness, <laughs> can't even keep the cards in my hands. You got used to it. Uh, being shitty like this. What's their Virgo's current energy? Thank you. Strength came out. You're needing to face your fears. You're letting fear keep you stuck in this relationship, in this situation. Um, <clears throat> and in order for you to... Uh, oh, I forgot what I was saying. Okay. Never mind. It'll come back to me. But yeah, you're needing to master your emotions. You're needing to allow... Uh, the good and the bad to come to the surface so you can honestly evaluate what's going on um, in, you, in your life. Uh, you're very confused, very fearful, um, not wanting to rock the boat for some of you. What's the future energy of Virgo here? The two of pentacles in reverse. So you will be going with the flow of life. You will be releasing this uh, situation in order to allow new blessings to come in. We'll see what exactly you have to let go in order for that to happen. Who is Virgo dealing with? Past, present, future, please. All right. Their first card out is the Two of Cups. Their second card out is the Page of Cups. And their last card out is the High Priestess. Okay. Okay. What you don't know about the situation, Virgos. What doesn't Virgo know? The devil in reverse. Spirit's advice. Spirit's advice in this situation. Thank you. The page of pentacles in reverse. And the outcome. What is their outcome for this situation? The Four of Swords in reverse. Bottom of the deck and shared energy is the Seven of Pentacles, and it's clarified with the Sun and the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords in reverse. Bottom of the deck, the Seven of Swords. Okay, so your shared energy. You're both, um, you know, you're both just taking your time, trying to figure things out. Um, you've been very focused on uh, your money, your um, your investments, and you're just kind of waiting for things to play out. Um, however, one of you is not speaking up the truth. One of you is not speaking what needs to be said in order to move you out of this situation. Um, it it is things are going to be illuminated um, to whatever that that energy or whatever needs to be said. It's like going to be put right in your face what truth needs to be spoken there, Virgos. Um, you've been patiently waiting for things to change, but I don't see anybody making any changes. It's kind of like you're just living in neutral. Not really putting the brakes on anything, not really moving forward, just sitting there. 
Um, clarifying the Three of Swords in reverse, the, the heartbreak that's no longer there. Um, there could be a movement. You could be, there could be a third party here. Doesn't have to be, but you are going to move forward and there is going to be successful movement forward towards an empress. So whether you're that empress energy or there's somebody else that you're moving forward with, um, you are going to move in that direction. Um, why is the two of cups here for a Virgo's person in the past? Or you could have in the past went to somebody else. Why is the two of cups here? The Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's free and single. They're they're waiting for you. Okay, so this isn't your person that you're needing to separate from. This is somebody else. This person is single and ready to give their, their cup to you. You do see them as somebody to create um, a future with, but you're still legally tied and bound somewhere, um, whether it be to a, a job contract and you can't move or whether it's a marriage. Oh, it's a marriage. <laughs> That answer that question. So needing to face your fear, needing to uh, get your emotions balanced back out um, because we are dealing with uh, you more than likely. Virgo can be the male um, energy in this in a marriage that needs to, um, you know, allow your feelings to be felt and make some decisions based on that. In the current energy of your person, they could be making an offer to you. Um, take it or leave it is kind of the energy here around this card. And this truly is somebody that you want to spend the rest of your life with, Virgo. Um, you feel they are your soulmate as well, but they're not going to stand for being a secret. They're not going to allow a relationship where you're connected legally to somebody else and um, be juggled by your energy. So some decisions have to be made most definitely in order for this connection that you want to go forward with to happen. Um, I did see a car flipping there. Yep. You could be moving towards a Sagittarius or another Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, but but you're going to make this decision very quickly. You could be wanting just to have like a physical relationship with this person and that ain't going to fly. They're not speaking very much about it, but they um, are not. They refuse to be a secret. This person does bring you balance and there is a duality here between the two of you. Uh, with the sun here, this person is destined to be on your path. It is, it is somebody that is meant to be here for some reason or another. They've been patiently waiting for you um, and they've been extending you this offer and just sitting in the background quietly uh, waiting. In that meantime, they have been connecting to their divine source. This person's very uh, intuitive, um, but they're making this offer and their, their patience, I feel, is running out. I do feel in the next month you will be making a decision about this connection, but some truth has to be spoken first. Um, and if it's not spoken, why you've been making this person wait, it's going to be illuminated to them one way or another. Um, in what you don't know, the devil in reverse, you can break free out of this toxic bond this, that you're in. Um, and what you don't know, you are in a karmic cycle with somebody. Um, and those those patterns need to be broken. Yeah, some some decisions need to be made and you need to take action. You've been thinking and thinking and thinking because this does affect your stability. It does affect your home life. So um, it's time to get out of your head. It's time to take some action. And it's time to move forward, releasing yourself from this bond, from this karmic tie. Spirit's advice is to quit investing in the wrong place, the wrong person, the wrong thing. Why is this page of pentacles in reverse? All right, the Three of Cups and the Seven of Cups, yeah. So um, quit investing in the wrong person in a third-party energy or quit being a third party if you're the one that is in a third party. Um, there's people around you that are deceiving you. There's people around you that are trying to confuse you and keep you from getting this divorce or separating from this other person. Uh, make sure you are listening to your own mind and your own heart. And not listening to what other people are saying because somebody is trying to keep you from the truth. And so to trap you into a marriage or a relationship that you want to release. Wow. But you really need to walk away. You need to cut ties. You need to do what's best for you and walk away. You have been thinking about this for quite some time. 
Um, and your card is the heartbreak is healed. So this is you coming out of time of healing, a time of rest. Why is the four of swords here? And it's you making a decision. What are you going to do, Virgos? You know, um, why is the four of swords here? Thank you. The magician. Uh, it. I don't know if it came out in reverse or not because I flipped it too quick without thinking. But be careful of people manipulating you um, into staying is what one thing I want to say. But you are the magician in your own life. You create your own reality. Um, so whatever you want, go and get it. Um, with this, with the shared energy, you have the five of cups. Somebody's been patiently waiting for you to heal. Um, after this third party, this person could have been your third party Virgos, but they've been patiently waiting, um, healing their own heart as well. So they're, they are also healed. Um, with the knight of swords in reverse, you Virgo are the one that needs to speak the truth. You're the one holding it all in. You're the one that is not speaking. And by you speaking, it's going to release you. The truth will set you free. And that is true in so many ways for you here. So let the truth be known by yourself and by anyone else in your life that it affects. Because by you holding back, you're putting yourself in this stuck position where you're overthinking everything. Um, you just need to take action. The sun is clarifying the two by the two of cups. So you have already, you are in contact with your soulmate. You know who that person is. Um, they could have started out as your third party, but you need to release whatever you're legally tied to right now. And once you do, once you speak the truth, your path will be illuminated for the two of you to be together. The next card out is the sun. So this most definitely is destiny, but you have to take the steps you need to take, Virgo, in order for that destiny to come in for you. But look at your next four cards. How beautiful is that? Oh, it, it keeps getting better. So what you have to do, Virgo, is speak the truth. You have to go within. You have to take some time to yourself to see what that truth is. Realize that you have the star and the power to heal yourself and to know that you are the creator of your own reality. So if this is what you want, then go get it. Um, and you are going to take action towards um, somebody that you want to create a new life with, somebody you want to have a commitment with, but you have to end uh, whatever it is that you got going on currently that you're legally tied to, whether that be a marriage, a job, uh, I don't know what else you could be legally, con um, a lease, you know, something along those lines. But your overall energy was that five of swords and the justice card. So whatever it is, you need to walk away from a legal contract. Okay, let's get your um, Wisdom of the Oracle card for today. Virgos, what advice can we offer Virgos? Happy, happy. Somebody else had this card. I can't think of who it is right now. Cancer, maybe, or Sagittarius. One of the two. Could be connecting with a Cancer or a Sag. 26. Or you could have that in your chart. All right. It says, there are moments in a relationship when you just feel good about whom you are with and you know that your heart is wide open to befriend, to love, to care for another without wanting anything in return. This is a kind of happy that you just want to share. The appearance of this card in this reading tells you that there is joy and contentment and it's here for you now, not somewhere else or off in the future. The grass is greenest right where you stand if you water your own lawn. Be careful, be grateful and delight in your relationships all around you. If you are seeking a love romantic, if you are, ugh, if you are seeking a love relationship, be happy now. Happiness attracts more of it itself, like bees to honey. Whoop whoop. All right, Virgo. So you have the power to be happy. You just have to, um, you have to be grateful for where you're at. And if where you're at does not make you happy, then it's time to move your feet um, and take action. So, all right, Virgos, hope you guys have a beautiful day. I'll see you next time. God bless.